guys! So today I am going to show you how to make these delicious mini pies. Now, um, these are all vegetarian. This is my favorite way to use up leftovers. Um, I eat a lot of fresh vegetables and I'm usually left with quite a lot of vegetables at the end of the week that are kind of about to go yucky and I need to use up a bunch of vegetables. So this is my favorite way to do it by making a pie and these little mini pies are so cute, adorable and they are delicious. They are also really easy to make. Um, anyone can do it. So if you want to know how to make these then keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start by heating a bit of oil in my little pan here. And fry my onions for a bit. Okay, so now that the onions have gone soft, I am going to add the rest of my vegetables. Okay, so I have set this to a medium heat, and while this is simmering, I am going to develop the broth in another container. So I want this to be quite strong, because I don't want to add too much liquid to my vegetables. Uh, so I am just taking a little tiny bit of warm water and adding my broth in. I'm going to add the broth to my vegetables. Okay, so now at this point you can add your seasoning. Now there is more than enough salt in the broth for me personally, but feel free to add more. Uh, what I am going to do is pick some fresh rosemary from my room. I have a rosemary plant there and add that. Um, I think a good buy should just have rosemary, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I have my fresh rosemary here and you can just do with this whatever you want. Um, I don't mind leaving it in, so I'm just going to tear it up into little pieces. If you want to take it out before you make the little pies, um, you can just leave the whole twig and then pick it out before you fill the pies. But I don't mind, so I'm just going to break it and put it all in there. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this to boil and thicken up and in the meantime I am going to prepare my pies. Okay, so I have my little muffin cup here and I am going to take one leaf of puff pastry and I am actually not going to stretch it out uh, like I usually do because it's... well my muffin cup is pretty small so it would be too big for it. But I am going to take a little bit of mustard and spread it out over the puff pastry and this just makes the whole thing so much better. Um, I am a very passionate mustard lover um, so for me it just brings the pie to a whole new level. If you don't like mustard, of course, just don't do this. You can definitely leave this part out. So I'm going to line my muffin cup with this puff pastry. Okay, so now that all this is done, I am going to preheat my oven to about 200 uh, to 220 degrees and um, prepare my pies. The filling is still boiling, trying to evaporate some moisture there. But it's almost ready, so let's go. So my filling has thickened up nicely, if you can see that. And I am going to fill my little pies. Okay, so now I am going to close my pies. Okay. 
And now, since we are talking leftovers here, um, I have this Parmesan cheese. I don't usually put it in this recipe, but since I have some now, I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. I need to use it up. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes um, until the pastry is nice and golden brown and then I will be back with the results. And there they are. Oh my god, this looks so good. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, of course, you can make them uh, not vegetarian. You can add in any meat that you like, um, whether it's leftovers or just fresh meat. You can actually freeze these, uh, make a batch and freeze them and eat them uh, throughout the week. You can just reheat them in the oven for a bit and then eat them later. I am just going to grab a few and enjoy them. So I hope you also enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or send me a message. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye! And while this is... Oh. Dude.